hello everyone in this video we are just going to learn what are multiplexing of seven segment displays and then we are just going to learn how we can print different datas in these two seven segment displays whose data lines are multiplexed and are connected to common gpo pins of the microcontroller and we are just going to learn this multiplexing technique for reducing the number of pins required for driving multiple seven segment displays in our microcontroller let's get started so now let us try to understand what is multiplexing of seven segment displays for printing multiple datas in sequential displays connected to common data lines of a GPIOs of microcontroller. So multiplexing is a process of printing two different datas in these two seven segment displays whose data lines from A to H are connected to common GPIO pins of the microcontroller. You can clearly see the A terminal of this 7 segment display and the A terminal of second 7 segment display is commonly sorted and it is connected to a GPIO pin of the microcontroller. So now just assume that these are all the GPIO pins of the microcontroller. Similarly, B terminal of first 7 segment display and B of second 7 segment display is commonly sorted. You can see C is commonly sorted, D is commonly sorted, E is commonly sorted, F is commonly sorted g is also commonly sorted and finally h is also commonly sorted so now we have already learned how we can print numbers from 0 to 9 in common cathode type 7 segment display and also we learned theoretically how we can print in common anode type 7 segment display but here i have utilized the common cathode type 7 segment display and that is why to the common pin of these two displays i have connected ground through push buttons so whenever i press and hold this push button the common pin of this seven segment display will be connected to ground and when i release this button this will be isolated from ground so whenever i press and hold this push button this seven segment display will be turned on for displaying the number and whenever i release this button this seven segment display will be turned off so this is what happens Whenever I press and release this push button available right over here, the similar case happens here also for the second seven segment display. So now let us try to understand the multiplexing process for printing two different datas in these two seven segment displays which is having the common data lines from A to H. So you can clearly see the A to H terminals of the 7 segment displays are commonly sorted. Then how we can print two different datas in these two 7 segment displays. So let us try to understand that multiplexing process. So multiplexing process as a definition is nothing but printing two different datas using perception of vision of human eye for visualizing different datas in these two 7 segment displays. So let us try to understand that with an example. So I'm just playing a simulation and now assume that I just want to print number 12 in these two seven segment displays. So when I provide the data required for printing the character one. So this is the data required for printing the character one in the seven segment display. That is the common cathode seven segment display and when I turn on the first seven segment display you can clearly see the number one is printed and in the similar manner when I turn on the or when I provide the ground to common cathode terminal of second seven segment display you can clearly see the same data one is being printed in the second seven segment display. So we cannot turn on these two seven segment displays at the same interval of time right. So when I turn on these two seven segment displays at same interval of time when a particular data is provided in the data lines you can clearly see the same data will be appearing in these two seven segment displays. So instead we just want to 
turn on the common pin of these two seven segment displays at different intervals of time so i am just going to explain you how we can print the number 12 using the multiplexing process step by step first step that we want to do is we just want to turn on the first seven segment display by providing ground to the common cathode terminal and after that we just want to turn off the second seven segment display so we have successfully turned off the second seven segment display and now we just want to provide the data that is required for printing in the first seven segment display that is number one so this is the second step first step is we just want to turn on the first seven segment display and then we want to turn off the second seven segment display and the second step is we just want to provide the data required to be printed in the first seven segment display and the third step is after some time after a particular millisecond or microsecond we will be turning of the first seven segment display and then we will be turning on the second seven segment display and immediately after that the next step is we will be providing the data that is required to be printed in the second seven segment display and after particular millisecond or microsecond the same process continues that is we will be turning off the second seven segment display and then we will be turning on the first seven segment display and immediately after that we will be providing the data that is required to be printed in the first seven segment display and this process continues we will be turning off the after a particular millisecond or microsecond we will be turning off the first seven segment display and then we will be turning on the second seven segment display but this time we will be printing the data required to be printed in the second seven segment display and after millisecond a particular millisecond or microsecond we will be turning off the second seven segment display and we will be turning on the first seven segment display with the number one printed in the data lines and after a particular millisecond this process continues we will be turning on the second seven segment display and we will be printing the data too and after millisecond or microsecond delay we will be performing the same operation with the data one so since this process continues to be happening in a millisecond or microsecond interval our human eye will be incapable of viewing the transition happening between these two seven segment displays so our human eye will be able to visualize only the stagnant number 12 printed in these two seven segment displays here in this multiplexing process the delay that i mentioned between switching the displays must be as small as possible probably in milliseconds and microseconds and for proper functioning that regular interval or delay between switching the digits in the seven segment display must be maintained in common that is if i use a one millisecond delay for switching from first seven segment display and second seven segment display and then from second seven segment display to first seven segment display that one millisecond delay must not be altered and it must be made constant and it should not vary for proper functioning of this multiplexing process so to conclude these are all the steps that we discussed for multiplexing and printing two different datas in two seven segment displays in this lecture right so the first step is we just want to turn on the first display and we want to turn off the second seven segment display by providing the ground to first seven segment display and by isolating the ground to second seven segment display and as the next step immediately we just want to provide the data that needs to be printed in the first seven segment display and after that we just want to wait for a particular millisecond or microsecond delay and then we want to turn on the second seven segment display and we just want to turn off the first seven segment display and immediately after that we just want to provide the data in the data lines 
which needs to be printed in the second seven segment display and after that we just want to maintain the same delay for the second seven segment display so these are all the steps that needs to be implemented for multiplexing two different seven segment displays using same data lines from the dpo pins of the microcontroller so we are doing this process for minimizing the data lines used for driving seven segment displays in microcontroller so this is what happens when we multiplex seven segment displays and let's try to do this using the microcontroller